good. All right, so you haven't heard me talk about technique in a while, and so I've been a little bit quiet since I've been training Austin. And this big talk about Jet, of course, Jet is this amazing talent and this and that, but everybody wants to talk about, to me, the leaves and not the roots. What's making him this great talent? What's making him a better than everybody else when he's doing the same things, riding the same tracks and riding the same bike? I'm not saying he's much better than everybody else, but right now he is a, a step ahead because if he wins his championship, he's won every championship there is already. So two things that I see. One is focus. I think Jet is almost behind everybody. You know, and everybody thinks, oh, well, if you're going to be faster than everybody, you got to be ahead of everybody. No, not necessarily. Because if I want to go faster and I'm trying to go faster, well, I'm going to be ahead of myself. I'm trying to go faster because trying is always is always ahead of you. It's never right now. So what I feel him doing is that he feels what fast is. Everybody's trying to go fast and they're notchy, tight, making little mistakes, this and that. And Jet is feeling what fast is. So... He's where that breaks the brake is. He's where the gas is. He's where the whoops are. He's in that corner. He's at his technique. He's never riding more than his feeling will allow. And you saw that last year in the Nationals so much because he never made a mistake with the second fastest guy in the world right behind him for most 14 motos. So that's telling me that somebody has complete focus and he's right where he needs to be at this point and that comes from feel because you only can feel right now. You can't feel future or past. Okay, if you're thinking about how to go faster, then you're ahead of yourself, if that makes sense. And so you're, you saw him, maybe the first race, riding that way. Then this whole talk about, you know, him beating the record and this and that and people talking about it. Well, I felt he started riding outside of himself, <clears throat> meaning trying to go faster, trying to win. And you saw all these little mistakes that kind of everybody else is making, running into people, different things. And so you have to think about this is that. We can't be ahead of ourselves when we're riding. We have to be right where this bike is. So one of the things I can supercross is don't be at the obstacle, be at the corner. A lot of people go through the corner already at the obstacle. A lot of people come into the corners, coming in to the corner already at the corner, so they're starting to break their they're starting to break their form and they're starting to prepare too soon. So now they get into that corner kind of in a pause or in a stop, <clears throat> or they're scrubbing off speed because they're trying to fix a mistake. So these things I see Jet doing a little bit different than everybody else. Another thing I see is his body positioning. So when he is standing here, you'll see everybody, and I've talked about this a lot, and now a lot of uh, coaches are talking about this, about what I call is breaking form. If this is the strongest, most stable, most coordinated, most efficient position on the motorcycle, where I can stand here and my arms be loose, if I bend at my knees, boom, well now I can't be, my arms can't be loose. If I bend at my knees, I break form, I go into my arms. If I go into my arms, my arms are tight, I exaggerate everything this motorcycle's doing, and you'll see it when Jet's going through the whoops. Jet's movements are always here, here, here. I'm always putting weight into my legs so my arms can be loose. So if I'm going through whoops, and my first movement's here, and that front end goes away from me, and my first movement's at my hips, what are my arms doing? They're extended. When that front end comes back up off that next whoop, the only thing I can do is pick up. And that's when you see him dip and then do the kind of wheel tap, right? Where you'll see other guys come into the whoops this way, boom, boom. They start to slow down through the whoops momentum-wise. They start to break form and go into their knees. When they go into their knees, what are they doing? They're going into their arms. If you're going into your arms, when that bike's getting kicked, what did you just do? Exaggerate it. When that bike hits the next whoop and it's coming back to you and your arms are tight, what's going to happen to you? It's going to throw you back or throw you off or throw you over the, uh, over the handlebars. So the biggest thing as I see Jet doing is always first movement is here, never here. Yes, sometimes coming in the corners you got to do this, but you see his legs are straighter than everybody. And if you go back and watch Daytona, he looks like a rabbit, okay? Because everything was rut, 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 and everybody else is here, here. Here, you can't. If I'm going to jump off something, how am I going to jump up a, a box hop? I'm going to jump from here. If I'm going to land, I'm going to land here. I'm not going to jump from here, and I'm not going to land this way. If that makes sense. So every movement that you do has to be done at the hips because it puts all the weight into the legs and takes it away from the arms. And when I want to land and pop off something, this is going to be much more efficient, and I'm going to get a little bit more of a bunny hop. Then if I come into my bike with my knees and I collapse and there's no spring from my body, 
okay? You got to think about that you have 160 pounds of these guys, the movement of their body is going to affect the motorcycle a little bit, even if it's a foot, even if it's a half a foot, whatever it is, two, two clicks, two pounds, two millimeters that change the bike. So when you have a body on top of it at this high level going in the right directions, going with the initiation of the motorcycle and the trajectory of the jump, well, you're gonna get that pop that you see Jet have. If you come into that jump and you break form from here, you're not gonna get that pop. You're gonna get a kick and then come back and then have to come forward, which you see a lot of guys do. They make two movements in the air where Jet makes one. So three things there are kind of one, concentration, be at where your bike is, learn how to feel. And that's where I feel Jet is, is he's feeling what fast is. He's using the brakes as much as he needs. He's on the gas as much as he needs. He's, he's using them, you know, he's shifting when he needs to and not just trying to go fast. He's also focused on form, which has come natural to him and always bending at the hips. So there's one movement, there's uh, arms are being loose and there's a pop in between little jumps and little things that you see him do. So these are the things that I see why Jed is ahead of everybody and it's not anything else except little, little things, just like you can change your bike by little, little things. And again, if the, if, if the wheels, if everything comes from the wheels, comes from the tires, comes from this, if everything you're trying to do on the track comes from this, from the bottom, well, don't be riding the bike at the furthest way, the furthest point away from it in your head. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking it, stop trying to go fast feel it and feel what fast is.